and we are so very relieved that you both got the answer. You have a beautiful little boy, and you have Navea, and you're both married. And if for better or for worse, this may be your worst. We want to talk to you both in the judges' chambers. We do. Do you understand? Meet us there. Court is dismissed. And I'm glad that we were able to get any closure and clearly on the paternity issue as it relates to Keith Jr. Then we, you guys can move forward together on that note. But yeah, there was another situation you talked about during in the court case and about this second gentleman, this other gentleman that you thought could be potentially be Nevaeh's biological father. Are we correct? Could you tell us a little bit about that, please? I met Mr. Bowser um, up through online, and then he, uh, I invited him over, and then we ended up having sex, and then I just, like, kind of just talked to him through here and there through Facebook, and then we lost touch because I moved. All right. All right. Now, we have done a paternity test on, on this gentle man, and we've also spoken with him, and and he says he's going to say something. Let's listen to what he says. Hopefully, the test results will show that I'm not the father of baby Nevaeh. I don't really believe she's mine. I can't wait for the DNA results to come back and show that I'm telling the truth and she's lying. Are you ready to hear the results? We have them for you right over here. And these results, again, were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows one more time. In the case of McCoy versus Bowser, when it comes to three-year-old Nevaeh McCoy, and it has been determined by this court that Mr. Bowser is not her father at all. We are very sorry. And it was not the answer that you expected nor wanted to hear. Let me just say this about you, Ms. McCoy. There is uh, a part of you that wants to just get this answer for your beautiful little girl. And that's why you're going through this. And I have to say, and I commend you for loving your child that very much. And in the meantime, Mr. McCoy, you are going to be a best her example and what a dad can be. We say in this courtroom all the time. And it takes DNA to be a father, but it takes love to be a daddy. We know that you love her and we have counseling and resources for you and your home state. We hope you take advantage of it and take care of the beautiful children all right and then work on the marriage and we wish you the very best of luck thank you mm -hmm. 